I must be mad. I'm going to do a Zwift Crit Racing Club race um, downtown Dolphin, 10 laps I think. It's going to be hard, it's going to be hot, it's going to be sweaty. It's already 31 degrees in here. So, wish me luck everybody. Why am I doing this? I have, I have no idea. And we're off. <clears throat> Yeah, 10 laps, 19 and a half kilometers. Objective one, survive. <coughs> Objective two, stay in the pack. You can tell from the start I wasn't really quite ready for this with all the messing around with the watch, but eventually I got into it. This little KOM really isn't my style, it's very short, very punchy, and the problem being all the riders tend to go flat out a bit, so doing this 10 times was not really something I wanted to do, and the sole objective was really just to hang in and hope. Ooh. Hope we don't do that on every lap on the drag up to the prime. They're so racing a difficult bonus point, which there aren't. Or if there are, I don't know about them. A bit more sensible, but not much. <sighs> That's two laps done. About three minutes a lap and it will get slower. Nearly went too early on the feather. What am I doing on the front? Get off. It's better. For anyone new to Zwift, you get a little power up each time you go through an arch. Um, sometimes they're good for you, sometimes they're bad, but you've got to use them carefully. Also for me, just never get on the front on one of these crit races unless you've got the power to break away. And I will confess, that isn't me, never got that power. So it's all about staying in the bunch, hiding away as much as possible, and then trying to unleash a sprint finish, which I don't have. Probably 12 or 13 in this front group. The others are dropped off. Personally, I hope it settles down now. That was a, another fast lap. 255. Well, I have Sam's bands up already. Heat and humidity are a real nemesis of mine and it was 30 to 31 degrees in the garage and the humidity rising of which I was generating quite a lot of that humidity through sweat.
This is one of those races where you've got to give it all to stay in the pack. If you're off the back, you've had it. Just as a reminder, I'm currently injured from running, so basically this is cross training for me, but you'll see towards the end of the video, if you make it that far, what the pain of this injury is doing to me at times. So it's an injury to the foot, and uh, specifically the toes, and just trying to get the final diagnosis on what the problem is. Lap 5 of 10 done, halfway, 15 minutes give or take. Sadly for me, it's looking like the injury is going to be months rather than weeks. Um, I'm living in hope, but until then, it'll be more bike, more rowing machine. But stick with it to the end to see the pain that this can cause. The initial diagnosis is in relation to a problem in the metatarsals, um, but not 100% convinced yet. If you do make it to the end of the video, you'll hear my initial thoughts and some further details on the problem. Bearing in mind these were just after the race, so I might not have had the clearest mindset at the time. So the overall pace has dropped. It's just that they're hitting it hard on the climb again. That's my weak spot. If anyone thought whip racing was easy, take a look at me now. Might be easy if you're a pro, but if you're not, it's hard. And more hard when you're old and not fit. Or at least not bike fit. Seventh time up here? Yeah, and it is really starting to hurt. Hang in there, hang in there. Definitely trying to recover. Just so bloody hot. Three laps to go. Just coming up to lap someone. Little group just off the front. I haven't got the legs to chase it. Just enough to hold the draft. Hopefully, I get lots of likes, thumbs up. Comments, followers, for doing this one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. The inner voice is starting to say, why are we going at this climb again? And also, are we nearly there yet? I mean, the legs were really starting to scream at me now. Right, 
Right. Get as much air in as possible. Hands on full. Coming into the last lap, it's time to really knuckle down, do everything you can to stay in the pack and hope that by the end you've got something left. Now settle back in the pack. Get ready with the feather. Over the top of the climb, I'm going to have nothing left. So just going to try and hold it. Lost a little bit of footage of going over the last KOM. I gave it everything, was still in there, but now coming into the finish, I'd started to struggle. Don't get gear right. I mean, that was a case really of, I just couldn't find the right gear for what power my legs had got left, which was pretty much nothing. I was desperately flicking between easier and harder gears to try and find either cadence or power and couldn't find any of them. I'm going to go away and try and work on my sprint finish or at least having enough power at the end to raise the game a bit. Well, that was a good my FTP. That was really, really hard. 31 degrees, middle-aged man, lives in the UK, not used to this. Another FTP increase anyway, <laughs> up to 223. We're edging there. It's a long way to go. You max HR, 170. It's getting back to how it used to be. Now just an easy pull down. Ah. Ooh. Okay, the toes have just reminded me. Ah. Let's take it easy, easy, easy. Considering I'm in cycling shoes, strapped into the pedal with a very stiff carbon plate, I'm not bending my toes, not really putting much pressure through other than through the ball of the big toe. That reminded me that they are not at all happy. So, I started down the seek consultant route to try and work out what the problem is, what they can do about it, and more importantly, when I can actually start to walk and then to run. If I'm being honest, you ask me now, middle of August, Lady Bower's not happening, and that's eight weeks away. How it feels now, I'd be surprised if I was walking properly in the next two to three weeks, let alone running. God damn, that is hurting. As soon as I've started to cool down a little bit, I'll be off the bike with a frozen bottle of water underneath the toes. Whatever the problem is, it's not just a chip bone in the toe. It might be a chip bone in the toe, but there's more to it than that. So it's not even the toe with a chip that hurts. So, keep everything crossed. Not feeling overly optimistic today on that front. Anyway, that was just a, an initial thought process. So maybe in a few days, we'll see. But yeah, 
I'm hoping I can get to see somebody fairly soon. On the basis of how that feels now, I'm calling it quits on the cool down. Resume tomorrow on the row machine, just for an easy session. For now, it's recovery.